Well, let me just say, Nancy and I are both delighted that the first state dinner uh, that we've had here should be this dinner on this occasion. To have you here in this room, which traditionally is reserved for chiefs of state. And uh, it's been a nostalgic thing, as I said to some of you, the ladies to your husbands the other day, because present are faces of uh, men that I served with when we came here and sat uh, as guests at the White House and the Governor's Conference. And of course, many new friends here uh, also. The, um, we have discussed in less pleasant surroundings uh, some of the problems that confront us today. I'm sure that the governors, whether they all agree or not, uh, do realize that what we're trying to do is alter the economic situation in our country by changing one simple two-letter word, economic control by government to economic control on government. And I've, I look forward to uh, collaboration and cooperation with all of you because of my belief that our Constitution calls for the 50 sovereign states uh, being the basis of our, our freedom here in this land. You know, it isn't so different. Uh, I find sometimes that just in the short time that we've been here that I feel a little like I did many times and as you feel as governor. Sometimes it's as Lincoln described uh, the man that was being ridden out of town on a rail, tarred and feathered. He said, if it wasn't for the honor, I would really have preferred to walk. Uh, <laughs> but <clears throat> the Bob Ray's state the Des Moines Register and Tribune uh, invited grade school children to write letters to the paper which they guaranteed would be printed as to what they would advise the president to do if they had the opportunity. And I was amazed at these letters from 9, 10, 11, 12-year-old children, uh, their grasp of the economic problems, the world situation, the things they recommended. But one letter really moved me it was an 11-year-old boy who wrote and said, when you get there, don't look to the past. Look to the future. You won't have time to look to the past. <laughs> and he said, make up your mind that when you leave there, you will be older and tired, and there will be a few more gray hairs in your wise old head. <laughs> <laughs> and then he said, just Get to the office, go to work, and be happy that you're only president. You don't have to be God. <laughs> so, out of the mouths of children. Well, anyway, it's a great pleasure to have you here, and I look forward to uh, contact, as we've talked about in our previous meetings, uh, in the days ahead with all of you. And now I would like to propose a toast. Incident, well, a toast to the Right Honorable George Busby, Governor of Georgia and Chairman of the National Governors Association. <laughs> and so that all can drink, including George, to the days ahead when between us we are going to see America solve its problems and have the cooperation that I think should properly exist between you, the chief executives of your state, and this federal government, which was created by the states. So, a toast. Thank you.